This morning, my announcement uh, is to begin a process of transition. I think you all have uh, seen and heard the announcement of uh, my successor being named. In uh, my service experience, transitions are always very special. Sometimes they're bittersweet, as I think this will be. But uh, it's always with great pride that I'm able to uh, present uh, to a command, uh, to a group of people, a successor who I uh, feel very great about, uh, turning over a great program here from top to bottom. And I'd like to uh, introduce uh, Mr. Kelby uh, Woodard, who today not only is running one school, but he's running a second school as well. And so I think he's probably up to the task. Uh, he's serving as an interim in one of those capacities, so we have something in common. Uh, he's uh, served at all levels of that uh, school system, from teaching to admin work, uh, marketing, uh, to, well, maybe not including the bottle washers, but he's been there and been part of that system. But also very special is his connection to this community at St. Thomas Academy as his, son, his oldest son graduated from St. Thomas. And, uh, and so I know that this is special in returning here and already uh, re-engaging with some of the, the great people that he, he knows from before. Uh, daughter attended Viz, so he is clearly part of already our community and is with great pleasure that I want to introduce Mr. Kelby Woodard, who invite him to say a few words. Gentlemen, that was one heck of a welcome. Thank you. Uh, but before uh, I begin, let's thank Admiral Crowley for his service to this country and his service to St. Thomas Academy. All right. Over the next few years, you guys are going to realize I like to be very brief. So I'm going to start off by being very brief and very quickly. Listen, all of you guys have made a choice to be here, and I've made a choice to be here today. Some of you didn't make a choice to be here, but you've chosen to stay. I get that too. Some of you chose to be here because of the academic excellence that St. Thomas Academy represents. And the fact is you want to go to some of the best colleges in the country, and you realize this is the opportunity for you to be able to do that. Some of you guys choose to be here because your faith is important to you and you realize that your faith needs to be a part of every decision that you make. And you want this place to help you in that process and in that journey. Some of you guys are here because this is a military academy and you realize that you want to be a leader and a man of character and a man of faith and a leader that this nation needs. And you realize that the fact this is a military academy is gonna do that for you. And I am here for all three of those reasons, but I guarantee you there's almost 500 people in this room that are here for this reason. And that is because St. Thomas Academy is a brotherhood. And that brotherhood is something that can never be taken away from you. Your brothers will be with you when we win state championships. They'll be with you when we don't. They'll be with you when the robotics team is nationally recognized and they'll be with you when they lose. And that's what makes this place so special. And that's why I'm here. This is the only job I would have left my other job for. I'm here with you guys because I want to be a part of this brotherhood. I am a proud father of an alum of St. Thomas Academy. I am proud, I am honored, and a little bit humbled to be standing before you this morning as the next headmaster of St. Thomas Academy. Go Cadets.